Hey everybody, what's up? Danny here, and uh, I'm going to take a few minutes today to show you exactly why, or actually to just talk about exactly why um, a lot of people get tripped up when starting with Thrive Architect from ThriveThemes.com. And uh, I'm going to offer you some suggestions to make sure that you are getting these three, uh, three things in place so that you don't end up um, having a lot of headaches when trying to build your website using Thrive Architect. Now, for those of you who are new to Thrive Architect, it is a page builder uh, that allows you to create uh, beautiful looking pages fast um, using a drag and drop interface. Um, so you don't really need to know how to code or anything like that. Um, but uh, some things that you want to keep in mind are, number one, um, choosing the right plugin. Number one is choosing the right uh, security plugins and caching plugins um, for your website. If you even have um, one of these things installed, you could find some problems with your website when it comes to trying to change some of the design elements in Thrive. And uh, you may need to, to clear your cache if you have a caching plugin installed or um, check your, your uh your word fence, if you have word fence for security or whatever other security plugin you may have that may cause some issues when you're trying to um, update your site. Now, <clears throat> one thing I highly recommend, this is the second thing, um, and these are not in any order, but the second thing is ensuring that you have a, uh, a proper um, staging site, right? A, a propping, proper non-live site to test all of your updates and changes um, because what you want to do is make sure that you're not impacting um, your potential customers or your visitors. When they see your, visit your website, you don't want to be making changes to that same live website and you're not sure what's going to happen with it. So <clears throat> clone a website. If you have a staging site capability with your hosting provider, go ahead and do that and then test your, uh, your plugin updates, your, your um, design updates, everything in that to make sure it works before um, pushing it to your production live site. All right, and so that really kind of brings us into number three, which is um, you want to make sure that uh, you have the the best support that you possibly can. And a lot of hosting providers out there, um, it's a mixed bag when it comes to support. Um, when using WordPress in particular, you can go with some of the shared hosting um, uh, providers out there, like Bluehost or HostGator or SiteGround. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the chances are you may get a good support. You may not. It really depends. Um, I, I, I think SiteGround out of those three is probably the one that I highly recommend if you're going to go the shared hosting route. Uh, but just keep in mind, you, know, you have to pick out your own security plugins. You have to pick out your own backup plugins. And so they may or may not be able to help you because they are not um, a plugin provider, right? They're just they're providing hosting. So it can get a little bit complicated when you're using a shared hosting provider and you use your own uh, plugins that you've, cho you've chosen. Now, I highly recommend Presidium. If you're going to go with WordPress, um, Presidium is only WordPress hosting as of this video. And they're highly um, recommended from my perspective. I've been, I've been doing this, this uh, for the better part of 10 years in the WordPress space. And, um, and I work in a uh, corporate environment building scalable web applications in the cloud. So I know exactly what um, pain points are when it comes to building a web application or website that your customers want to enjoy and love. And when it comes to WordPress, you want to be able to make sure that you have it out there. It's secure. Uh, you don't have to do a lot of um, administration when it comes to updating the site and things like that. And so Presidium takes care of all of that for you. Um, it basically provides you a state-of-the-art enterprise-grade solution for WordPress in the cloud, and it's managed. So what that means is that they uh, they do auto um, updates for WordPress core security updates. Um, they also um, are very, very highly available when it comes to the architecture that they use um, in the cloud. And really kind of where it, this shines uh, in, in the Thrive Architect world and what we're talking about in addressing those pain points with um, making sure that you, uh, you, you have the, the right plugins. They've already 
got the backup services and uh, necessary plugins installed for you to make sure that you've got the backups that are automatically being taken on a day-to-day -day basis. In case something happens to your live site, you can restore in one click. Um, it's that simple. Um, the other thing is um, staging sites. Staging sites, again, is, allows you to clone. They have a one-click clone that you can clone your production live site to, into your test environment and start hacking away. You can update as many plugins as you want to see if they are going to break your site or not. Um, I know I did it with Thrive Architect when they upgraded the, um, the most recent versions. Um, I wanted to make sure that they were, they were stable, especially after checking social media groups and people having issues. I wanted to make sure that it was working. Right, and I've uncovered uh, that some things that weren't working, so I didn't necessarily push it to my website. All right, I kept that wait and waiting to to keep continue to test as they fix some of those bugs. So it's very important that you have staging sites. I cannot stress that enough. A lot of people update their live site; they don't have um, you know a backup plugin installed, and then they're they're dead in the water, and they have to try to figure out how to fix it. Um, you know, as people are hitting their website and getting a poor customer experience. Okay, they may never return because they see that the site is not up or it's like, you know, not doing what it's supposed to do. All right. Then the other thing is WordPress support. Again, this is dedicated WordPress. There's no other types of, of CMSs that are hosted on Presidium. It's all WordPress. And so their support is top notch when it comes to asking questions, anything that's related to WordPress. Um, if you want to you want to clear your cache, there's a one click button in your, your Presidium dashboard to do just that that allow you to get past the, most of the common issues that happen with Thrive Architect and other page builders in WordPress is that you need to clear the cache so that it basically a cache is just is, is a term used for um, uh, settings or files um, that, are, that are held in memory to refer to um, so that it's faster to access, right? And so sometimes when you're, when you're updating plugins and when you're making changes to your WordPress site, um, your caching plugin will keep some of those old files in place. So it helps your users, you know, um, access that those files quicker. Well, the problem happens when you're trying to design and you're saving some of those old design configuration files. What happens is you're, you, you've updated, but you you feel like, you know, that you should be able to make these certain changes that you're making and you're making them and it's, they're not working. Well, it's because you have a caching issue and you, nine times out of 10, you need to clear your cache and move forward. So anyway, these are some, some common things that I see uh, happening in the Thrive Architect space. And, um, you know, just make it simple. Choose Presidium or uh, another dedicated w, uh, WordPress hosting provider that's going to take care of all the administrative overhead and give you uh, the support that you need so that you don't have to keep pulling your hair out when you're when you're going into Thrive Architect and trying to make changes and, and do other administrative tasks, All right? So anyway, I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions about um, Thrive Architect and uh, and hosting or anything like that when it comes to WordPress and website, um, let me know because uh, you know this is what I do uh, for for a living, and um, I love this stuff. Um, and I'm here to help you. So um, go ahead and post your, your comment. If you found this, this video useful, go ahead and click like. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.